Got some six saw nano silk 100D. I'm gonna get this thread started on here. And do 12 wraps of this 10 thou lead. Yeah, 10 to 12 is good. Just tie that in so it can't go anywhere. Got some of this UV2 maroon. Just get that tied in on here. It's a little bit long. I like to keep it about the same length as from the hook to the shank. I want to make sure to wrap in front and behind it. Give it a cut. And wrap in some of that fluff. I really like this 6904 for the tail bling. I'll pull this out of strand. Then I like to take it and fold it around that hanging thread there. We'll just wrap it. Do a little cut. We'll do that one more time so we have four pieces total in the tail. And we'll give it a trim. Put in a dubbing loop. So I've just got my two fingers here. And come around the front and up around the back. A couple more up here to take off. I like to rotate this vise, hang it right there, and then put my dubbing loop twister and just let it hang. And then we'll put this over here. I'm just kind of let that also hang. And the next step is to fill up that dubbing loop. So I'm going to use some of this Cascade uh, Euro Seal and mix it with some of this DX2. You just need a small pinch of that. Angle that down here a little bit. And just a little bit of this stuff too. You can see it has quite a bit of of color in it and we're just going to take that whole pile and just keep pulling it till all the fibers are long together i know some people take and put that in a blender mix it up and that works too but this allows me to have some really long uh straggle fibers all mixed in with it and i like that straggly look so i'm just going to work the dubbing so it's Nice and sparse, and we're gonna set it in that loop right there. Tilt back up here. You can see I keep it nice and sparse, and then I'll rotate that vise up so I can get close. And we're just gonna give it a spin. And then just kind of pull on it. Now, You'll see some spots are a little bit thicker than others. So you just want to take your brush and tease it out. Just kind of work it. Work it a little bit so it looks nice and straggly like that. Then we're going to wrap it. Just kind of pull it back as we go. Okay, so next step is we want to make sure we wrap in front of that and get back behind it and in front of it and over it. We just kind of pull a figure eight. Then we want to build out that thread head right there. And then we're going to take this dubbing loop and cut it so it's out of our 
responsibility now and we're going to throw some whip finishes and I happen to be an overachiever on the whip finisher I like I don't always use glue especially on my ones where I don't use glue I like to do two or three wraps and then the whip finish on there and I like three of them that's what I'm finding seems to work the best because I do two wraps and then whip finish and I do that three times. One of the things that happens is with this nano silk, it's really tough to break. But if you do break it, you're more likely to cut your hand than to break the thread. But if you're out in the field and fish bites it and actually breaks one of them, you know you still got two more knots. So it's kind of nice to know. So there's the finished fly. 